So all over the internet, there's a bunch of videos of people pouring alcohol into various types of engines to see if it runs, pouring it in their cars, and pouring it in this, and pouring it in that. But one thing I thought was so dumb is these creators are pouring in top shelf, premium, expensive liquor into these vehicles, into these engines to see if it runs. And I thought that was dumb. That's such a waste of perfectly good booze. In fact, it just makes me angry to the point where I just want to go get a drink myself. So I thought, you know what? Let me not take my anger out on a bottle of vodka and uh, ruin my liver at the same time. But instead, I'm going to take my anger out on a bottle of vodka and not just any vodka, but this bottom of the bottom shelf vodka. And I'm going to see what happens when you pour this vodka into this lawnmower and I want to see if it will run on bottom shelf vodka. So with that said, let's get into it. Okay, well first and foremost, I think we all know that uh, alcohol is flammable, but in order for it to be a good fuel, it has to ignite uh, very easily, uh, very efficiently. So I think we need to perform a uh, scientific test here to determine this vodka's ignitability. So uh, let's go ahead and do that first. So I'm about to begin my highly scientific test. Remember, I am a trained professional. Do not try this at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and crack this open here and... Uh, Ugh. And uh, let the test begin. Oh, well, that was fire. So I think that concludes our highly scientific test. I'm pretty sure that it will work just fine in the engine as it seems like the ignitability is perfect. So now on to the actual fun part, pouring the vodka in the mower here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that it's pretty empty in there. There's only a little bit in there, but otherwise this is drier than a boomer's nutsack. And uh, I'm actually just gonna let the rower run just for a second here, just to try to get all of the leftover fuel in the bowl of the carburetor, clear it out. So do that real quick. Now she's officially out of gas. So now we get the to top off with some bottom shelf vodka. It's funny, it says premium. Yeah, premium bottom shelf. This stuff is, oh, uh, it has no flavor. It's just all burn. Horrible, horrible crap. This is the stuff you put in the mowers, not the good stuff. Jesus. So once again, we're pretty empty and dry down there. So let's go ahead and just pour this in and uh you know i'm not sure how much i need but um you know i got a good amount here and i don't plan saving this for myself because yeah it sucks but uh where does that put us oh there's a good amount in there right now i think that will work yeah that should be all right if anything i'll put the rest of this in my car let's go ahead and throw the cap on there and uh well Let's see if she runs on bottom shelf vodka. Well, it doesn't seem that uh, it wants to run on the vodka. Maybe there's an air bubble or something I need to work out. I'm probably going to hit it with a little bit of brake cleaner just to kind of get it going, see if it'll run then. I mean, it's not like I'm an expert or anything. So let's go ahead and hit it with a little bit of brake cleaner there. See if I can get it going. Oh no, I don't think this is going to work. 
it real nice. Well, um, it looks like our bottom shelf vodka is, uh, yeah, it, it's not working here. I actually fully expected this to run to some extent. It didn't have to be much, but after spraying it a couple hits with the brake cleaner here, once it kind of used that up, it just died out. It's not burning this efficiently. And this is only burning when this is, you know, in the system there. And actually it smells horrible. It, it really smells bad. I, thankfully we don't have cars running around on this stuff because it does not smell good <laughs> at all. See why science is dumb? Look, my scientific test proved that vodka, you know, was flammable, it ignited, but obviously it's not a good fuel. Oh, why, why, why me? I don't know. I try to do these things to, you know, have fun, make nice videos. But I was really hoping for some nice results because that would be so much cooler. Except I gotta finish the video with disappointment. Much like my parents on my birthday 31 years ago. Uh, anyway, oh, what are you gonna do? I tried. It's all for fun, it's all for entertainment. So hopefully at least you got the entertainment value out of this video, if anything, and you learned that bottom shelf vodka will not run in an engine at least not run in a carbureted engine maybe fuel inject it where it can you know adapt to how much fuel is needed but obviously uh, a simple carbureted engine will not run on some vodka maybe you need to rejet things or whatever for it to work right i don't know remember i'm not an expert so uh Anyway, I think that's gonna wrap it up here for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know. If you wanna see more content like this and you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Keep a lookout for the next Cars Created video. Oh, you think you're cool because you drive a Tesla, huh? Yeah, you look like you drive a Tesla. Yeah, take this. Help! Be nice. Come on.